Welcome back everybody. Those introductory seams may have seemed a little bit random, like they weren't focused on one product, and there's a reason for that. We're going to be reviewing three different products today from a company called Advanced Holsters. Now, uh, among them, we're going to be looking at the full cover inside the waistband Kydex holster. Uh, this one here, Glock 19. And we're also going to be looking at what they call the Man of War Mag Carrier. This thing is really snazzy, which we're going to show you here in a second. And then lastly, we'll be looking at their mini concealment holster, which is a minimalist style. So without further ado, let's get into it. Let's take a look at the full cover IWB first. There's a few kind of neat features of this holster. First off, it's very slim, holds the gun very close to your body as you can see here. Not a whole lot of bulk that's going to be created with your gun. Obviously, we have it set up here with the Glock 19. And um, the way it sits, it's adjustable for how you want to set it in terms of depth as it's going to ride in your waistband. It comes down here. I moved it down here. I found personally that that's how I like to carry it, but you can move it up and down either way, however you prefer it. Now, the way the clip is set up here, you can wear it inside the waistband. You can also tuck your shirt in behind it so it is a tuckable holster. It's also an ambidextrous holster or multi-position uh, holster. So what I mean by that is, as you guys saw earlier in the review, um, I was wearing it at about the 4 o'clock position, but as a right-handed shooter, I should say. But if you want to, you can actually switch this so you could wear it um, as an appendix style holster without issue. Or if you want to wear it like, as a left-handed person, you could just set it up on this side. And you could also wear it cross-draw if you so choose. I know some folks out there will want to do that. But uh, getting into the details, you'll see that there's pretty good details on there. Good molding, good retention, stays nice in place, nice and snug. But also allows you to get a full grip on it here. Something I don't like a lot of times if uh, some holster companies will put material down here and you can't get your hand around it, get a good purchase on there. Not an issue at all here. So comes off, slides back in very easily. So definitely a good little piece of kit. And this one comes to market right at $45. Next, we'll take a look at the Man of War magazine carriers. Now, these things are ingenious. I really like these when I got them in. I was uh, super stoked at all the different types of magazines you could use in there. You can use anything from USGI mags, uh, HK mags, uh, 416 that is, any 5.56P mags like you see here. Um, your AUG mags work in here, AK-74 and AK-47 as you guys saw earlier when I was out there shooting on the range. I had those on the plate carrier uh, set up here and it works awesome. So what way it works is it's adjustable in terms of retention here on the sides and it also has some flex to it due to the Kydex material. So although this is set up for your AK mag right now, you can still put your P mag in there, it'll still click, still have good retention either way. And even this fully loaded AK mag, as we see here, will slide in there and it will be retained by there. But when you want to pull it out, it comes out without issue. Now, these are available um, in a few different backplate configurations. You have it here set up with your uh, Molly accessories to be able to wear it on your plate carrier. It also comes with belt loops. And then on top of that, it comes with this uh, tech lock, which I know a lot of you guys like. I really like it. You can wear it on your belt or you can clip it on a lot of different things, but it's very innovative. This is actually a $10 upgrade, but either the belt loops or the Molly attachments come with it. And I believe the cost is $35. Before moving on to the mini holster here, one thing I wanted to point out about these uh, Man of War mag holsters is that they are stackable. So you can actually set them up. And if you actually took these rigs off, you'd be able to see that you can double stack them like that and they will lock into place and you'll have a double stack configuration. They're also ambidextrous, so you can set them up however you'd like. Um, if you wanted to move these clips around to the other side, you can do that and it takes just a matter of moments. Now, moving on to the mini, great little system here as well. Very minimalist holster, which I know a lot of you folks out there like. I've reviewed a couple similar products in the past and I've gotten a good response from you guys, so apparently these are quite popular. Um, just like the full cover, it is tuckable, so you can tuck it inside your waistband. It's also ambidextrous. You can swap it around, so it could be worn either right-handed or left-handed, or appendix carry or 4 o'clock carry. Again, my personal preference is um, 4 o'clock, generally speaking, with larger guns. Uh, I shouldn't say larger guns. Anything that I'm not going to put in my pocket is what I mean. That's generally where I carry. I do occasionally carry appendix, though. This one here, I've carried exclusively appendix, and it's a very comfortable holster. Like I said, very minimal uh, signature. And uh, this gun here has no sharp edges on it, so it's definitely not an issue carrying this gun inside the waistband. And this one comes to market right at $29. And again, you'll see very good molding, good retention all around. Let's see if I can pull it. You can see good retention when it clips back in. There you go. One disadvantage to this holster, though, over, say, a uh, different size holster like the, uh, the full cover, 
is reholstering. Um, I found that when you have to reholster it, let me see if I can pull it out it's kind of on camera here. When you reholster it, when it's in your pants, say this is your appendix carry and this is how you're carrying it, you kind of have to come in like this, like that. Um, you don't have to, but in my experience, it makes it easier. So it's just something to think about uh, that may be a little bit awkward when you're wearing your pants. Now, one thing that both of these holsters have to a certain extent is the adjustability in terms of cant. On this one, you have a little bit more play. So you can give yourself about a five degree angle, not a huge deal. On this one, you can do the same a little bit. So you can change your cant in terms of how you wear it in your pants. The folks over at Advanced Holsters make a few other products as well, and you can check their site out for their other products. You can also see on there the list of guns that they uh, carry holsters for, which there are a ton. Obviously, we had some pretty common ones here with the Glock and the Shield, but they have a very wide selection of firearms that they can make holsters for. They also do custom work, so if you have sort of like a one-off, maybe custom knife or something like that that you need a sheath for, by all means, contact them, and uh, they'll get you a quote on that. But really... From what I've seen, quality products, very reasonably priced, uh, definitely competitive price within the industry, and uh, some good options out there. If you guys have any questions about these holsters, you can always post below in the comment section. You can also post over at my Facebook page. But as always, guys, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and I hope to see you in the next video.